Hi, I'm Max, and here's a few ways that you can be a hero. Did you bully my friend? I didn't like her shirt. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna be your friend. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I was just jealous of your fantabulous shirt. It's okay. Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Chloe. And I'm Matthew. It was pretty cool having a Japanese guest here this week. It sure was. Gabe and Con were able to be at Cherry Capital Airport to cover their arrival. Here are some highlights from the event. Last Friday, our Japanese friends arrived at the Cherry Capital Airport to kick off the week of our cultural exchange program. The guests will be heading back to Coca City Friday morning. I'm excited definitely because um, like we've emailed a little bit but um, yeah so kind of meeting them in person is going to be cool. Well, they have a dog, it's a chihuahua, and its name is Coco, which is kind of funny because our dog's name is Coco. Um, they like fried potatoes, which I assume are french fries. If not, then potato chips. Uh, this weekend, I'm really excited since we're, we're gonna be doing some uh, tubing with the Japanese exchange students. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And just um, getting to like, you know, work over the language barrier. I think that's gonna be challenging, but also fun. This has been Colin and Gabe reporting for Trojan TV. Our Japanese guests had a great time in TC. We wish them safe travels back to Coca City. Look for more highlights from their stay next week. We have a short week ahead of us, so mark your calendars. There is no school Monday, January 16th for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Also, Thursday the 19th is the end of the quarter with a half day of school and Friday the 20th off. So be sure to get your grades up and your assignments in. The new quarter begins January 23rd. For this week's Classroom Spotlight, we caught up with Miss Brooks' science classes for conducting experiments. For this week's Classroom Spotlight, we caught up with Mrs. Brooks' science class. This past week, they have been learning how to use a graduated cylinder to find the volume of various objects. The purpose of this lab is to show the students how to measure volume without necessarily doing length times width times height of like measuring a cube. They were expected to use a graduated cylinder to find maybe the volume of an odd-shaped object like a rock that has different shapes and different curves and different edges. Miss Brooke thought this lab was of great importance. If you look at a graduated cylinder, there's like a little edge on it, so it kind of looks like a bowl. And it shows the students the importance of having to read the bottom line of that meniscus. Okay? So they have to get down at eye level and make sure that they're reading it carefully and that they're reading the appropriate numbers. I liked that we got to do all the measurements ourselves and we really saw exactly how big the rock was. Um, I learned that it is very important to take the correct measurements because otherwise you're going to have different results. This has been Ethan and Aaron reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks guys. Eighth graders, time is running out to apply to go on the 2017 Washington DC trip. To apply, visit the announcements tab on our website the link where you can find all the details. For an update on the weekly metrics to earn the coveted Trojan Award, here's Mr. Mead. 
Hi, and welcome to Weekly Metrics with me, Mr. Mead. You may remember that last quarter we had some ties, but overall, it's those alpha sixth graders, they're the ones to beat. They currently have got 15 points this quarter and are well ahead of the rest of us in terms of earning that gigantic trophy at the end of the quarter. Um, the eighth grade alpha kids are in second place with nine points, followed by the seventh grade alpha kids with seven. Uh, omegas, we've got sixth and eighth grade alpha, or I'm sorry, sixth and eighth grade omegas tied with six points apiece, and the omega seventh graders have just three points. However, we've got two weeks left. Anything could happen. So everybody in East Middle School, please make sure that you're doing your best to maximize your weekly metrics and take that extra step in helping a, a friend or a classmate to get to class on time uh, and to do a good job with that. We're all in it together. Go Trojans, and we'll talk to you next week. It's time to start thinking about classes for next year already. Student orientation nights are scheduled on January 24th from 5.30 to 7.30 for 5th grade into 6th grade. 6th grade into 7th grade and 7th grade into 8th grade is set for February 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30. The 8th grade into 9th grade is at Central High School on February 28th from 6.30 to 8.30 in the auditorium. Students, East is offering free after-school tutoring for math and reading, which is underway. See your counselor for details. Now let's check out our very first Jake and Max All Access Pass episode. This is the Jake and Max All Access Pass, where we take you behind the scenes to see some things in the school you've never seen before. This week, we had Mr. Reed take us to some secret rooms in the school. We expected him to take us to some sort of magnificent room located somewhere never seen before, but instead, he showed us this. This is room 932, which is in the middle house, and this was a what they call a book storage room. Uh, when I first found this room, it was so full of stuff that you literally could not walk across the floor. Uh, what would happen is that as teachers would switch their classrooms, uh, they would put stuff in storage, and they would forget it, and they would come back, they'd get transferred to a different building. Wait, I thought you were taking me to some sort of cool, interesting secret room. Why am I here? Oh, the best examples I found was... Uh, we found this here. This is a language arts curriculum from 1979. Now, it just so happened 79 was the year that I started kindergarten. Mr. Mead, I'm sorry, but this is like the best part of this room. It's very, very old, and it's just one example of the stuff that got left behind in this room. We recycled some of it, uh, thrown a lot of it away, and our ultimate objective is to clean this and make it another teacher workroom. The next room he took us to, he was an expert at. Remember that this school opened in 1991, and that's when your principal, Mr. Mead, was in his prime. So East Middle School was originally built in 1992, and when it was built, it was considered a state-of-the-art middle school. Uh, this is actually what's left of um, the broadcast portion of East Middle School, and back then, in the 90s, uh, to broadcast something, you would actually broadcast it across cable television. Uh, so like this unit broadcast on channels 7, 8, 9, and 10. And there were racks of video cassette recorders, which... Video cassette recorder is the same as VCR. It's okay. Only 90s kids would know. Which were how people would show media back in the day. And so uh, this equipment really cost, I'm guessing, thousands and thousands of dollars. And it served the school well for probably about 15 years. In the mid-2000s, there was this new website called YouTube. Geez, I've never heard that before. But it's just an interesting example that in 1992, when the building was built, the internet had not come into schools yet. Mr. Mead, we're sorry for all the sarcasm, but Mrs. Mackey told us to. This has been the Jake and Max All Access Pass, hoping to take you somewhere more exciting next time. That was pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty cute. Well, that concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow Trojan TV and the DMC on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook by searching at East DMC. And don't forget to check out our additional DMC and newspaper coverage on our website, The Link. Have a great long weekend, Trojans. Bye. Bye.